Welcome back everybody. Like usual, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, please do so. Notifies you when we drop videos. So we're gonna go back out to the garden. Since I'm home, I like to do my inspections quite often in the garden here. Um, I'm gonna set you down for a minute so while I open up the fence energizer and talk to you a little bit about this fence energizer. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but in the past uh, couple videos in the garden, this actually hasn't been in it. And we actually ended up having to send this thing back for warranty work. Um, what was happening was the battery symbol was coming on and flashing red and giving me an issue. So long story short, after talking with one of the techs, basically he said it's an issue with the with either A, the batteries, or B, the computer chip in there. So we sent it off on our own dime, uh, which I think is kind of wrong for warranty work. Uh, once basically they got the unit, they uh, it took them basically four weeks to diagnose it and another additional two weeks after that to actually get it back to me so it is back it is up and operational so hopefully we don't have any more issues the rest of the season um the reason why we're really coming into the garden is to take a look at a few things um i want to look at plant health and um, see what's going on on some of these plants um we are hitting extremely high temperatures still so we're still above our 30s and normally we're never this hot but we're hot enough to the point to be very concerned so basically we're just going to take a little look we dropped an inch and a half of water yesterday and you can already see how uh how fast it's drying up so um the dill's doing good we might have to do another tr uh clipping soon here our goal is to keep this going as long as we can so we can maybe do some pickling with it it may not pan out uh the cauliflower and the broccoli is holding but it's looking sick um lots of holes and in the leaves so basically it might be right off uh, but what I'm really concerned about is actually our um, beets. And I don't know if you can see this very well on the camera here. But we all of a sudden started having this kind of a thing show up and happen. Where all the leaves are dying off of the plants. And I don't understand. So we've done some diagnosing and we've noticed it there and we've also known it up here starting to happen there is a couple holes in the leaves but that's from the hail we had the other day so basically we have to diagnose it now when diagnosing it that's a tough thing to do unless you know enough about the plants and i don't know enough about beets to basically diagnose them very well so i'm asking the community for help if you've got any ideas what to tell me what happened uh please let me know so basically we're having leaves dying off we are also having a little bit of yellowing and very brittle leaves so the only thing I can come up with is it got dry and basically um, it couldn't handle it. Is the only conclusion I can come up with at this point in time. We're always pulling weeds. You can never keep up. So that's my conclusion is it got dry. But if you guys got something else, like even if you look under the leaves, I don't see any bug damage. I don't see anything like, I don't see aphids, I don't even see bugs. So, there's the odd ant walking around here, but I can't see this all being an ant damage thing. So, I don't know, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. We're gonna have to end up probably more than likely pickling or pressure canning this 
and we're not going to be able to do anything with the tops. So if you got any suggestions, please let us know. Um, we don't know what happened here. Uh, beats are new to us. Anything else I can pretty much diagnose pretty well. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far with us, thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great rest of your day.